talk about something other than quarterbacks. My guy. My favorite. My fa we talked about him as soon as th they signed him. When they yeah. signed Kalen LeBurn, the day of, we did a show, and you're like, we got one. We yeah, got I think him. in that voice, we yeah. got one. And yeah. I've been waiting all offseason for him to get some touches in 11-on-11s. 11 He's getting them. Okay. And every time he gets the ball, he explodes. And I look around like, you see that? You see that? You see that? And today he caught a pass, too. Today he ran a choice route against D. Winters and smoked him. D. Winters is going to make the team. D. Winters was a draft pick. He yeah. couldn't keep up with Laburn. Laburn is good. He has pedigree. He has production. He just is a little bit older. And he uh, tore his ACL. But he also ran a 4-3. And he has so much freaking juice. He's yeah. got the juice. Like Tupac in that I mean, movie. Well, he's in the right offense. Right. Yeah. Styles make fights. So he's in the right offense. He's going to get burned. Uh, my only thing is, is that, you know, it's going to be hit or miss being able to see actual production out of him, just like we did with JP, because they're going to be afraid to lose him if he if he doesn't clear waivers. Right. So my only thing with uh, Kalen is, is that he stays healthy. We already I mean, I already knew what we were ingesting as soon as we got him. I mean, he's a bell cow back. He's a yeah. throwback back. I mean, this kid, he wants the ball 30 times a game. And that's not you can't say that about a lot of backs today. Um, go ahead. I want to talk about my coverage real quick because we're gonna talk about coverage in a minute. So there's always like an unspoken thing with teams like they want you to say they want you to report the narratives they want. Right. Hype up the players they want and don't talk about the players they don't want to talk about. And this year is labor in the sense that they don't want to talk about labor because ideally they put them on the practice squad. They try to but, put them on ice. Right. But see, I don't work for the team and it's not my job to sort of anticipate what they want me to say and then say it. See, right. if they want me to keep the secret about Caitlin Laburn, $2 million cash. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm saying Rams, Sean McVay. That could be your starting running back this season. He's a starting so if the running Niners back. try to get try to get cute and put him through waivers, pick him up. And if Kyle, John, you don't like that I'm saying that, I'm gonna say it every single day the rest of the offseason until I get two million dollars cash. Hey, cash. look, TDP. I look, I don't like to play with nobody bread. I I, I, I like TDP from like I, he, from a position of he ain't never did nothing to me. That, that's as much as I can say. But yeah, pretty much. Yeah. You know what I said about TDP as soon as I found out about Kalen is that he going to be the guy to push. And I think that it's no coincidence that TDP came in here really geared up and trying to show and prove. But at the same time, what's done in the dark going to come in the light. And you can't just fake like you're ready to play. Like, I, I know this kid. He's been working a long time. He's been pining for this spot and in a lot of different cases because of his arc his career arc this is almost something that is like a maturation process to what he was always supposed to be so you're not dealing with some wilting flower kid who just you know is happy to be there this kid got recruited by florida state he was a five-star recruit so he's looking at the best players on his team like i can do this i i'm i, I belong here um so yeah. I, I believe that uh kayla's coming Especially I mean, when you see him in a uh, preseason. The way I look, he looks like we said this before, but he reminds me so much of Elijah Mitchell, but he actually looks stronger than Elijah. And mm -hmm. I think he's a better route runner and receiver than Elijah. Like mm -hmm. the route labor and put on D winners today. I've never seen the Niners call that for Elijah Mitchell. Whenever they throw him the ball, it's like a swing route or a flat route or it's just mm -hmm. a check down. He don't yeah. actually ask him to run angle routes or choice routes. Like, Laburn's already doing that and mm -hmm. getting big-time separation on dudes who are going to make the team. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're actually giving him a route, a uh -huh. stem, letting mm -hmm. him break. Yeah, so I I, I, mm -hmm. I know what the kid can do. I, I, I did my homework on him. He's one of the few that I actually extensively watched. Um, so um, buckle up because he's going to be here. He's going to be Kalen. here. Kalen, Kalen, I'm going to make it my job to get you a, a spot on a 53-man roster make this year. Make the 53, bro. I'm going to make sure you get a spot on some team's 53-man roster this year. It could be the Niners if they're smart. It could be the Rams if the Niners yeah. aren't smart. But you're going to be playing this year, and I'm going to take full credit. So either the Niners give me $2 million cash, or you could give me 10%. What, what are the other, what, am I going to get fired? For, I'm joking. I'm not actually extorting the 49ers. I'm not or joking. I want 100. You give me 100. <laughs> <laughs> this is an actual extortion, but... 
Anyway, it is what it is. It is what it is. Jordan Mason was that dude last year, and I kept saying, like, I know the Niners want to put him on the practice squad. Yeah, I know you, they want to get rid of Trey Sermon, but I'm not going to let you do that. Sorry. I, it's yeah. not my job to come down there and say what you want me to say. I, I got to tell the, the people the truth. And Cable well, Labor is Well, you truth. know, all of this stuff kind of rolls out once we have those inner team scrimmages, right? Because, mm-hmm. like we talked, we touched about this, like, that's yeah. the one time where the narrative of all of the media that's surrounding the team can't be controlled because there's another right. team involved. So even conversely with the quarterback situation, I'm very interested to see what happens when we go play Las Vegas and have those those practices with them because at, like we t- every year, I want to hear what the Raiders have to say about us. I want to hear... What, 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 what? You back. My bad, my bad, my bad. It's all good. My bad. I, I want to hear what the Raiders have to say to us. You know what I'm saying? I want to I want to understand, um, you know, how they feel about our offense, what they think about Brock Purdy and Trey Lance, what they think about Kalen LeBurn and, and TDP, what they think about our defense. You know, like, we. I know that we talk about the number one defense, the number one defense, the number one defense. It's like, yeah, but who's getting our defense better? You know what I'm saying? Like we, we talk about yeah. all of this. Oh, the defense had a day to day. Well, the defense is gonna no face one could a cover bit more than Brock Purdy. Yeah. They're gonna That's face true. better than that. So yeah. I, I know that we're looking at this as if that, oh, you know, if they can't beat our defense, they can't beat everybody. But the last time I checked, we you we coincidentally use this complimentary football word when when it serves us. But Complimentary football works at all times, meaning that even in practice, if we're spending all of our time trying to get four quarterbacks ready, how ready is the defense going to be, let alone the offense? 